Good day, boys and girls. I hope you're having a very good time with your family at home. I hope that you're um, uh, doing all your things in your house with your family. Hola chicos, espero que estén muy bien en casa. Espero que estén haciendo muchas cosas en casa, siento ustedes y con su familia. Today we're going to, I'm going to explain you the um, uh, session number seven. Uh, so I'm going to share um, the information here and we're going to listen um, some um, audios uh, about the unit number uh, six, uh, session number two, that it has to do with the, um, with the school subjects, okay? It's a vocabulary part with the school subject, and we're going to see some little bit of grammar. Okay, so first part, we're going to talk about school subjects, okay? <clears throat> Sorry. So the school subjects in Spanish are asignaturas. So we're going to read all the school subjects. This one are computer science drama. And then we're going to listen an audio and we're going to write. I'm going to write uh, the word below the picture, okay? So pay attention, please, and uh, pick up your pencil and your book to listen all these um, school subjects. Attention, please. Unit 6. Vocabulary. School subjects. Page 62. Exercise 1. Example. English. One. P. E. Two. Math. Three. Science. Four. Music. Five. Art. Six. Geography. Seven. History. Eight. Computer science. Nine. Drama. Unit six. Okay. That was the audio for the school subject. So you write down your school subject in the correct number. Then, we're going to see the simple present, the negative form, and we use don't and doesn't, okay? We use don't for the I, you, he, she uh, subject, and we use doesn't for he, she, it, okay? And then the verb, for example, I don't work. For example, she doesn't work okay very good let's see the exercise number one we're going to complete with the negative form of the simple present and we're going to use the verb in the parentheses okay example <clears throat> he is a mechanic we're talking about he so we use the negative form for he he's a mechanic he it doesn't and the verb in the parenthesis. He doesn't work in an office. He doesn't work in an office. Okay? So we use the negative form plus the verb. The verb is in brackets in the parentheses. Okay? So there are six, seven exercises over there. Eight, I'm sorry, eight exercises over there. Um, exercise number two says write sentences, write negative sentences, and then correct the sentence. So we're going to correct the sentence because the correct part is in brackets. It says one o'clock over there, okay? For example, I'm going to explain you the example. It says, Louise, she is a, she is, is a girl. Louise is an, a name of a girl. Louise has lunch at two o'clock. So you need to write a negative sentence of that. Louise, it doesn't have lunch at two o'clock. And then correct sentence with the words in brackets. Louise or she, she has lunch at one o'clock. So you need to write two sentences for one exercise. 
tiene que escribir dos oraciones por ejercicio. La primera, haciendo negativa a la oración, y luego, corrigiendo la oración con la palabra que está, con el concepto que está entre paréntesis. ¿Ok? ¿Understand? You got it. Ok, you have over there six sentences. ¿Ok? Let's go and see exercise number three over here. But first of all, we're going to explain the yes or no short answer. ¿Ok? Well, um, well, the question is, do you, do you work? Do I work? Do I work? Do we work? Do they work? And the other question for the third person singular for he, she, it would be, does he work? Does he work? Does she work? Does it work? Okay. So we have answers for that. Sam says, do you, do you work? And you say, yes, I do. Or you could say, no, I don't. Okay. So if we make a question for he or for she, you would say, Does he work or does she work? And another person would say, uh, no, he doesn't. Or you could say, yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay. So very careful in that part with the chart over here. Okay. Very good. Um, then let's go with the um, exercise number three. We almost finished. Write questions and affirmative with the tickets and negative with cross with short answers, okay? So, example, Harry live in Canada. In brackets, the ticket. Um, does Harry live in Canada? We use does because Harry is he, third person singular. So we use does for the question. Does Harry live in Canada? Answer, short answer. Ticket, yes, he does. Okay, very good. So. You, you're going to use the same structure to the four exercises below. Then we're going to uh, exercise number four says so write questions and short answer. Use the word in the chart. Okay, there are many words over there with the do and does at the beginning. And then with the subject, you, we, your best friend, your mom, dad. Then we have the verbs, verbs here play, leave, speak, study, and get up. And then the complement, English, that's a school subject, in an apartment, the place, at seven o'clock, that's the time, soccer, well, it's just a sport. Okay, so you are going to write sentences. Do you play soccer? Does your best friend live in an apartment? Do your best friend speak English? You can write as many as possible. Puedes escribir todas las que sean posibles. Okay, very good. And finally, the finished activity. Write questions with the prompts over here. Then ask and answer. Van a hacer pre preguntas con esos conceptos que hay ahí. English, speak English, have breakfast, watch TV, read English book, have PE at school, do your homework after dinner. For example, do you, do you speak English? Oh, does your mom speak English? Answer for that, do you speak English? No, I don't. Yes, I do. Does your mom speak English? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Okay, so write as many questions as you want. Escriban todas las preguntas que puedan. Okay? Okay, boys and girls, that's it. That's all for today. Those are the explanation for this session number seven, unit number two. Okay, so if you have a question, please write the questions and send me an email, okay? See you in the Zoom class, okay? Uh, so be, um, pay attention to your um, Agenda Digital um, and see you in class, okay? Bye.